Okay, so another thing that also happens quite a lot is somebody being used as bait to come into the house to control the family or to control whatever is going on in the house. So one of the situations that we can use somebody grabbing you and they're putting a gun to the back of your head. Look where the gun is. Basically, he is a very small target. No one's going to shoot no one like this. So, and he's moving into the family I'm saying sorry. everybody need, they, they need to submit. Okay. And of course, before it gets to that, we want to try and take your opportunity as much as you can. But of course, we need to keep in consideration what's in reality. Now, what I need to understand is this gun, of course, if it fires here, it's a game over. You drop like potato. You are finished. So I need to get this gun out of the line of fire before I can start on the motive of this attacker. Okay, of course, I will submit where you can see my hands that I'm not doing something stupid. Okay, as much as I can. If he's pushing me, I will go. I'm not stopping him hey. in any way. I'm not resisting with my body language, not with my body, not with nothing. I will comply as much as I can. I go. He pushes me, and I will go. Now, this again, this arm again feels like unconquerable. It feels like you cannot deal with it. You cannot be focusing on this arm right now. You need to be focusing about getting the gun out of the line of fire. So what we always say is move into your attacker and get yourself out of the line of fire. With my elbow and my arm, I will basically, almost like I'm hitting the head, but I'm not hitting to make distance. I'm hitting so that I can close the distance. I'm hitting and I'm running. In. Now look where I can end up. It's to the head, maybe a little bit lower depending on the height and everything. But this gun, your elbow, you want it over the gun. You don't want something like this. Okay. And as I'm fighting in, I'm diving under the arm, of course, again for the pulling. And with this arm, I'm diving over. Now again, this is a gun. I can't be grabbing something like this because he can just point the gun in very lethal places. So I need to make sure that I always secure to the back of the gun as much as I can. So this, look at the way that my arm slides. Look how it moves the gun out line of fire. I push in and I turn my body to the outside. In, there. Now when I go, I'll slide my arm to the back, almost like a pull, but I'm also gonna extend this in, right? In, if this pops or snaps, or I don't think in reality, I don't know, but you can't rely on that, it's okay. You just continue to fight with your shoulder, in but you're keeping this elbow up as much as you can. In. Now I need to start to do damage, be it on the face, on the groin, back to the face, whatever. And you're pushing where his body naturally is now going. Down. In. Down. Now he can fall on his side. He can fall many, many ways. You just don't want to stay where he can fight effectively. So you need to move around. Sometimes your instinct will tell you you need to go over. It can happen. But best to move maybe around the head. So, you move around the head and you keep the gun strong. This is like something very tight, not to pull if he drops the gun so it's not on that side and everything. I'm pulling up, I'm securing his head and I'm pulling up, smashing on the areas where it's working on the brain. If the gun comes out, secure the gun, you can use it and then of course control the situation where your family is not in the line of fire and from there on do whatever you need.